Lesotho is keen to get the second phase of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project going, as it will provide much needed boost to Lesotho's economy and provide huge benefits to South Africa. The treaty authorizing the second phase was signed in 2011, and the Lesotho Highlands Water Project is expecting an official launch towards the end of this year. Yeah, the treaty between this, the two countries was signed in 1986, and this was the culmination of uh, studies that had been done in uh, over a period of more than 30 years, because the concept of the project um, uh, was around in the 50s. Um, the treaty was signed between the two countries, between Lesotho and South Africa, and the reason for the treaty of going into the project was because of the mutual needs of the two countries. Um, on the part of South Africa, the need for the South Africans uh, for water. And for Lesotho, the main reasons were for to obtain a royalty revenue from the project, as well as uh, to have other uh, co projects that they could implement mainly really hydroelectric power generation and any other ancillary uh, uh, projects that Lesotho could implement in the process. The first phase of the project uh, consisted of really two main dams, uh, which is the Gazi and the Mahale Dam. Probably aware with projects of this nature and magnitude, we usually start with the infrastructure which entails roads and the construction camp, as well as electricity supply and telephone lines. Where we are currently is we have just mobilized a project management unit. We expect that towards uh, uh, the beginning of the second quarter of 2014, uh, we will be inviting uh, several tenders, which includes for the roads, electricity and telephone lines as well as for the camps but currently what we are doing we also have consultants working on what we call specialized specialized studies or baseline studies for the environment and social processes so part of what the PMU will do early next year is to invite tenders for environmental impact studies for those advanced infrastructure components. Although the Lesotho Highlands constitutes only 5% of the total catchment area of the Orange River, it provides about 50% of the total catchment runoff. The water originating in the mountains is characterized by its purity and low sediment content, which is why trout bred in the Katsi Dam are in such high demand internationally. Phase 2 is likely to double the transfer rate, but detailed feasibility studies have yet to be undertaken. The existing water transfer tunnel to South Africa will be able to cope with this doubling of volumes, but further phases will require a parallel transfer tunnel to be built. The construction of the feeder roads, as, as you are aware, that the dam will prevent access between certain villages, so we'll have to provide what we call feeder roads, which is a network of roads to ensure that all the, the villages around the dam are, are linked. There will be other social and environmental programs that will go in parallel with some of these engineering infrastructure works, uh, which includes uh, resettlement of people affected by the project as well as the, the compensation that goes along with it. The whole project is about development. As we are implementing this project, we are also looking towards enhancing the livelihood of the communities that are living within the project area. So the infrastructure by themselves, there will be one form of development that we bring to the communities. But there are also those livelihood programs that we will need to implement as we are going through the project itself. And the programs, as we are going to pick them, will ensure that we are bringing those projects that will be sustainable to improve the livelihoods of these communities. The social development opportunities for Lesotho are enormous. 
and Lesotho has planned to leverage the demand arising from Phase 2 construction activity to build a cement factory in Lesotho, thereby reducing the country's dependence on South Africa, along with a range of other products and capabilities. But Phase 2 has been a long time coming, and the official launch has yet to happen. There were projections in the feasibility study for the water transfer component, and those projections had indicated water delivery in 2020. However, we are all aware that they ha we have experienced some delays in terms of getting all the approval processes or the negotiations of the agreements and the likes. And the project management unit, as I've said, part of their task is to review that program and confirm whether or not uh, we're still in line, but we are very much aware that we are starting about two years behind on problem. This is Dominic Preuss reporting for Business Day Financial Mail from the Sutu Highlands Water Project.